Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today. Happy first day of summer. I hope everyone is able to spend some great quality family time in the upcoming weeks, or if you're like a lot of us, traveling to many, many in-person events. I know we're all excited to get back in person. Today's whole focus is on in-person event strategy and taking control of your room block. So it feels great to be hosting and planning these in-person events this year, next year. Um, I'm excited to chat more about room block management. Now, just to introduce myself, my name is Taylor Woods. I'm a regional sales director here at Cvent for our venue sourcing and housing solutions. Been with Cvent for nine years, and I'm eager to discuss with you our event planning room block management process. Now, couple things to keep in mind. We do have an open Q&A box uh, that will be live on the right-hand side of your screen for the duration of today's webinar. We also have some great polls that will give us insight into maybe some of the headaches that you all have experienced in the last few years in your event planning process. So taking a step back, really understanding some of the things that we realize you're dealing with on a day-to-day -day basis as an event planner, uh, we realize that you are needing to now take control of your event. This is a new world over the last couple of years, and you need more insight than ever into not only housing, but how many attendees you'll have. Um, so that brings us to the second point. How do you anticipate in-person attendance when maybe you're hosting a hybrid event? Uh, maybe, you know, it's just TBD. How many attendees will actually want to come in person? Uh, the final thing that we realize is on your plate is reporting to stakeholders. Of course, they want insight into how many people are attending, how engaged people are at events. Um, but of course, more importantly, is filling your room block, making sure, you know, of course, attrition is always top of mind, making sure that you have insight in real time to what is happening with your event before the actual start date. So couple things to keep in mind uh, with this webinar. We'll spend the next 10 minutes or so really diving into the product. Some of you may be familiar with Passkey. Maybe you've used a Passkey link with a hotel. Others may not be, and that's okay. Um, the last 15 minutes will be spent really diving into a live case study, understanding from a user of Passkey how it can be done, what reports are useful, kind of that real life applicable uh, way to utilize this technology. Um, so diving in, the way we think about room block management here at Cvent is there are two different avenues that you can go as a planner. You can either manage your room list completely manually. Um, this is what most of the planners I work with are doing. You are compiling registration, whether it's via email or via an event technology like Cvent, uh, and then you're sending that to the hotel. You know, how do you process credit card information, you know, that's kind of what maybe cumbersome aspects of the first option that you might go through. The second is allowing the attendee to book completely on their own. So really depends what route that you go when you look at your room block process. Diving more into the first option of really managing it yourself and being that middleman between your attendees and the hotel you know, you see the word chaotic. I mean, this is where a lot of the planners I speak with on a day-to-day -day basis want to pull their hair out because they're having to take that event registration list, let the hotel know what they're doing, and then wait and wait for the confirmation numbers or wait to just know it's processed within the hotel's reservation system. Um, so chaos, stressful, especially those last 30 days leading up to the event. The second, with attendees booking directly, we realize that, you know, maybe this is easier for a lot of you, but of course it comes with risk of not having any insight into what rooms are being booked, when they're being booked, did your CEO get a, a room at, you know, the hotel that you need him or her to. A lot of these logistics just ultimately, you know, you realize not only are you risking attrition and your block not being filled, um, but you're also risking not understanding your real-time pickup when it is asked of you. So what the result is and, and where Cvent's technology really comes into play here is 
eliminating the questions throughout the process. So Passkey is a custom website that you are able to give your attendees to book their room and it gives you access in real time to what is processed with the hotel's reservation system. So you go from event registration, booking process as an attendee, and then from an a, a planner standpoint like yourself, you have the analytics to understand I am at 15% of my block. Th these are the people that have actually booked within my block without having to wait on that hotelier to give you that insight. So not only are you driving reservations, you are gaining insight yourself. So a couple visuals that we pulled here that are important, not only can you customize the look and feel of your booking website to feel cohesive with registration and your brand, you're also able to have the most secure process to get the data of the attendee to the hotel and their credit card information. If you have someone, you know, if you are hosting an event that has someone booking their own room and paying for that room, this is the most secure that you can get in terms of routing to the hotel's reservation system. A lot of logistics along the way that we can discuss of custom pads, allowing certain attendees to have access to certain rooms. You still have the control um, while allowing the attendee to book their own room within your block. Now, couple visuals on reports that a lot of our planners find so useful is real-time pickup reports. The one, the visual on the top left of your screen might be something you're familiar with. If you've used Passkey at a hotel before, maybe a hotel provided you that booking link, that is a report you may have access to. Other reports that you can really dive deeper into analytics is understanding how many rooms per night are booked, um, maybe duplicate reservation reports, reports understanding guests that are attending, um, all sorts of analytics that you might need to understand your attendees in the room block can be found in Passkey. Now, one great opportunity that we have at Cvent is the fact that we have an entire suite of tools that are here to help you from end to end, venue sourcing, all the way through pre-event, event execution, and on-site. So with one of our products registration, we do have a two-way integration. It's not required to use Cvent's registration solution, but it's a huge benefit because if you do link Passkey with Cvent registration, you can then run reports out of Cvent to understand who has registered, who has booked their room, and are there any discrepancies between the two? Um, oftentimes when I speak with planners at first, this is the biggest headache is understanding, you know, are there any discrepancies? Do I need to send reminder emails? And that can all be automated within Cvent. So I want to take a look at the poll that you all have filled out. It looks like the biggest issue that a lot of you are experiencing is keeping track of changes. We hear that a lot. You know, maybe you're someone that allows people to make changes leading up to the event. You notice this modification link here on the visual of my screen. That is something that Passkey does support. So you are no longer having to field those frantic emails or calls of people deciding to bring their spouse or child to the event you can allow them within the link through emails to make modifications on their own that you can sit in peace knowing goes directly to the hotel's reservation system. So it's cutting out you from being the middleman, but still giving you that control that you ultimately need and, and desire. Now, a great option if those of you, you know, that are thinking, wow, this is great. You know, the reason maybe I haven't implemented Passkey in the past is because I'm wearing a million hats and I just don't have time to think about a new solution right now with Cvent or in general. We do have a Passkey event build service. It's essentially professional services at Cvent where we will build your entire event Passkey page for you. Uh, all of the branding, all of the emails. It's a fantastic process. And you notice the QR code there. You can just take a picture of that on your screen now, and it will route you to a survey giving some details of your event, the amount of people attending, the amount of rooms, and then we'll be able to turn over a quote for you of what that looks like. But it's a great way that a lot of planners have been taking advantage of 
just to make sure that you are, you know, getting up and running with Paskey with someone that has been building Paskey sites for the last 20 years. So we do have another poll uh, for those of you that filled that out. Are you currently managing an event with multiple blocks? Most of you said no, about 64%, but the 36% of you that are planning events with multiple hotel blocks, keeping in mind, Paskey can manage that. You can have multiple hotels on your event booking page, which would then allow you to kind of premeditate what paths certain attendees go down. Maybe myself, I only have access to one of your two hotels that you give options for, for your event. So something to consider, and again, something that our team can help build and kind of customize for you in terms of a workflow. So I want to segue, and I'm thrilled to be able to bring in our event technologist, Aiden, to really discuss his success with the Paskey product for our CVET Connect conference that was hosted back in April. Um, for those of you that attended in person, you will be familiar with the attendee experience of this process, but we're thrilled to add Aiden into this conversation to really talk from it process standpoint, what was beneficial to him. So Aiden, I'll let you go ahead and introduce yourself, if you don't mind. Thank you, Taylor. Um, and uh, thank you so much for having me. So, um, and hey, everybody, uh, I'm uh, Aiden Kanoja. I'm the uh, assistant manager of our event technology team here at Cvent. Uh, so my job here is to basically build, implement, and optimize uh, the uh, event technology across uh, our Cvent programs. Uh, some of which include Seven Connect, Seven Connect Europe, um, and like Seven Travel Summit, just to name a few. And uh, yeah, again, I'm excited to be here and have a great conversation. Thank you, Aiden. So we're thrilled to have him because, again, there's nothing like an event planner's personal experience. Of course, I can speak to my experience. Um, you know, from a sales perspective and, and usage perspective, speaking with my clients. Um, but I do want to get your insight. My first question is, how did Paskey help you in your process of planning Cvent Connect for 2,200 attendees? That's a great question. So I'll just give you a quick rundown of the process that we follow every year. So our planning team uh, usually kickstarts this process by pulling out the historical data from previous year's events that lives in Paskey. We do a comprehensive analysis of key data points and metrics like pickup rate, room block utilization, and overall room reservation list. There's a lot of uh, comparative analysis that we do to identify any trends and patterns um, just to make an informed decision in terms of how our inventory needs to be structured, how the allocations need to be done across different room types and sub blocks. Now, our planners are easily able to retrieve this data in a ready to use format through the reports in Paskey. And that is a huge time saver for us as we don't have to expend a ton of time in aggregating the data and piecing it together and we can get straight to the analysis part. So uh, once we have that, we just compare that with our registration goals and that gives us a sense of how many nights we need to contract for. But all in all, we rely heavily on this historical data set that uh, lives within uh, the Paskey reports during the pre-event uh, planning phase. <laughs> Awesome. Yeah. And as our CEO likes to say, we, we drink our own Kool-Aid. Of course, we're using our own products for our own yep. CVent events. One thing that's notable, too, is you had multiple blocks. I believe, was it two, Aiden? How many hotel blocks did you host for Connect? <laughs> Yeah, that's a that's a good observation. So we were actually we were on a tricky terrain this year. Uh, we were sourcing uh, rooms from two different hotel chains in Caesars and Venetians. Now Caesars has its own hotels, and then Venetian obviously is a separate property. But thanks to the functional flexibility of Paskey, we were able to build out the workflow for our entire inventory, our entire. Uh, like rooming process end to end within one single passkey instance. And then we were able to integrate that with uh, using the two-way integration to our flex registration site, making it a really, really seamless process for our attendees. So yeah, all in all, we were able to handle that level of complexity with relative ease using passkey. Awesome. And when that comes up, I know most of you don't have that experience, but for those of you that do have multiple hotels, it's, it's great to know. Thank you. And my next question is, was the Paskey process intuitive? Paskey's been around for 20 years. You've been using Paskey for a long time, but taking yourself back, you know, all the years, did you feel Paskey was intuitive as opposed to working, you know, more manually with the hotel via email? 
Well, I, um, <laughs> I'm a little biased here, but I would say an emphatic yes to that question. Like, it was definitely intuitive for me. And even as a first-time user all, the, all those years back, I think having a single source of truth that you have access to and the hotel also has access to, everyone has visibility into it. So there's kind of like no like gray areas or no blind spots. There's a great level of transparency. So I think the entire process end to end, starting from like, you know, the initial pre-event planning phase to the actual implementation within Passkey to the change management process, the post-event analysis. I think it's end to end, I find it really, really intuitive. Awesome. Good. Now, here's a common question and, and a common objection, quite frankly, that I hear all the time on my first conversations with planners is, how did this affect your relationship with hotels? I work with a lot of people that really like that personal, like, pick up the phone and call. Um, but ultimately, we cannot do it all. So that's usually what the, the result in those conversations would come to is you're wearing so many hats, you can't manually call every hotel and work with every hotel for the room list. But I'm curious from your perspective, how did it affect your relationship with the hotels when using Passkey? That's a, that's a great question and a great point that you bring up as well. Um, and as you were alluding to it uh, briefly in, in one of your slides about how Passkey seamlessly interfaces with the hotel PMS, I think that is critical, especially when it comes to the change management process, right, after the initial launch. Um, now, because like, you know, such are the dynamics for our event that we have to frequently make edits to our inventory, you know, move room nights here and there, make edits to the website or the email. Now, since Passkey is the single source of truth, Again, like I said earlier, like to my earlier point, all the systems are connected. Passkey is connected with the with, with the hotel's PMS, and it's also connected to Flex registration site. And we as planners also have access to Passkey, right? So we are able to handle most of these administrative changes are on our own without having to engage in a lot of administrative back and forth with the hotel, right? I mean, that's a really, really time-consuming part. So for any minor edits, we're able to handle that. We're able to self-serve those uh, on, on our own uh, and sometimes using our passkey admin so we don't have to reach out to the hotel every time. I think that makes the entire work stream and the change management process really, really smooth. Um, so I think that's a big advantage and, and, and a big bonus for us. And plus, I think one more thing that I would like to call out is that our planners have real-time access to all the data that they need in the form of POG reports and passkey, right? So again, I think this is one of the biggest concerns that the planners have. They have to constantly reach out to the hotel every time to get these data points and metrics. But again, we're able to cut that out because we have uh, we, that data readily accessible to us. So right. yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a huge bonus. Good. And I know I always tell planners too, you will still talk to your hotel. Don't you worry. You can still negotiate and kind of duke it out for lower food and beverage minimums and, and getting the hotel contract signed. You will still speak with the hotel, um, but you're making your life easier with the housing process once registration is open. So thank you. That's perfect. And the last question, and, and it's getting more into the weeds in the product is, you know, when it does come to reporting and the analytics, we've alluded to it in a couple of the screenshots, and then you've mentioned it a few times, but I would love if you could explain the reports you were able to pull that were most helpful out of Passkey once registration was open for Connect. What was most helpful in terms of the analytics aspect of reporting? Yeah, you showed a little um, sneak peek of uh, you know that report in one of your slides. I think that's the... Uh, the summary report is our go-to report. That is absolutely critical to our needs, and that is something that we heavily rely on throughout the entire life cycle of the event, from pre-event planning to uh, the change management or during the event to the post-event analysis, because that is that report gives us a full-scale view of all the re relevant data points and metrics that we need from room block pickup to um, room block utilization to how the number of reservations that we have. It just gives us all the data points that we need. So that's one report that our planners especially rely heavily on, like, like I said, uh, throughout the entire life cycle uh, of the event. And then the one that I rely heavily on, because I well, my role is very, very implementation oriented, so the one report that I rely very heavily on is the room list report. So that is basically the master list uh, or 
it's basically you could call it a master report with all the reservations that were made using passkey right regardless of how they were made if they were made using a one off link if they were made using the two way integration it has all of the data so that i think that one is also really really helpful but yeah for most part the summary report and then of course the room list report these are uh, the two reports that are critical to our needs awesome Awesome, thank you. And the one thing I'll note too on reports that a lot of planners love is we have emailed reports as well that we call smart alerts. So maybe if you're someone that does not need to get in the weeds as much as the overall room list report, maybe you know your boss, your coworker just needs insight into your room pickup, but maybe they don't wanna log in to run that report. We have these great email reports that can go out daily, weekly, you set um, how often. So that's something to keep in mind as well. But thank you for discussing this with me, Aiden. It's helpful. And I know a lot of you have a lot of other questions. I'm thrilled to see these keeping uh, keep coming. Those for you. And just a reminder, Q&A is on the right-hand side of your screen. Um, feel free to continue to add questions. We will answer all of them that we are able to. And then just a couple other things to note, if you weren't able to click that QR code that I listed fast enough, we do have a survey going out after the event and we would love for you to not only fill that out, but we have access to that survey for you to get a quick quote within that survey. So keep that in mind. And on the bottom of your page, we have some other great visuals and documents that you are able to access. So let's get started in some of these great questions. I'm so excited that you guys are so engaged. Um, the first question is anonymous, but can you use Passkey with any hotel? It's a common question. The answer is yes. Passkey does allow you to plug in to any hotel's reservation system globally. Um, that was important to us because we want consistency for your events. So the answer is yes. Um, the second question that I'm seeing here uh, is from Rebecca Olson, uh, how do you link registration with Passkey? Um, so it is something that if you are a CVent client, you would need your support team to turn on the ability to do that. Um, but it's a quick integration. Essentially, you take the Passkey link and you embed it into the back end of your registration process before registration is live. Um, so Rebecca, I'll take note of your name and we can send you info on that if you do already have access to both solutions, registration and Passkey. But it's a quick integration process, just copy and paste the link. Uh, the third question is also anonymous. Can you use Passkey without using any other Cvent products? Yes, absolutely. I know we've talked about the integrations a lot, but we do have several clients using Passkey as a standalone product. So if you love your registration solution and it does not happen to be Cvent, that is okay. You can still utilize Passkey as a standalone. We have great email campaigns and of course the landing page for the custom event website um, that Passkey can manage. Uh, another question here. Um, from Carrie Nelson. So is there an additional charge to use this? So the answer is yes, um, just depending on kind of the level of usage. So the volume based uh, pricing is all based on your total annual room night for owning your license with Passkey. So if you click on that QR code, if you had clicked on that QR code from my last slide, or if you fill that survey out in the follow-up survey that should be going out via email today, we'll be able to get you a quick quote of what that would look like based on your event size. So continuing to scroll through here, is it possible to add custom fields to Passkey that are not visible to the guest, like hotel billing notes? And this is from Katie Filson. So custom fields that are not visible to a guest. Um, you can add as many custom fields as you would like to in Passkey. Uh, what I would suggest is if you don't want it visible for that particular attendee type, again, we can create those custom paths where maybe certain people can see certain billing notes and others cannot. But that can also be done behind the scenes. It does not need to be accessible or visible from the attendee perspective of what the billing notes are, they will receive this great 
screenshot image of what nights are in included or billed to master versus what nights they're paying for. So it's pretty clear from an attendee and then logistically in terms of payment processing with the hotel, that can all be done direct to the hotel without that being on your booking page, if that makes sense. So let me, I love the questions you guys, I'm trying to approve them quick so I can answer these. So another question, will this work for smaller groups, 20 to 25 rooms from Randy Pearson? Absolutely. I mean, Paskey has no limit um, at all. You know, we've had groups that will use this for their large SKO event. And then for all of the events thereafter, because they think, why would I ever want to do this manually, even if it is for 15 people? Um, so yes, there's no limit to using Paskey. It's completely up to what you want your process to look like. Okay, let me see. So can you require attendees to make a hotel reservation through Passkey from Ashley Cartier? Yes, um, you can. To the best of our abilities, we have set up these email campaigns. I mentioned that report, um, the cross-reference report is what I like to call it, of tracking who has registered versus who has booked their room. And if there are discrepancies, I always use the example of like myself, if I'm attending Connect and I'm not sure if I'm bringing my spouse or not, maybe I exit out of housing before I actually book my room until I determine that on my own. Paskey can set up automatic email reminders to myself to say, hey, Taylor, book your room. And you can set up as many email reminders as you want to. So we have all the tools to make it in the forefront for your attendees to book their room. So we do find that Paskey does help a ton with overall, you know, not only tracking of your block, but making sure that you are filling your block to the best of your abilities with those email campaigns. It's a great question. Very common question. And we love those email campaigns. We can even set those up too. I know um, modifications was a huge stressor for you in the poll. We can even set those up to say, hey, today's the deadline to make modifications. Here's that link to make modifications. So those email campaigns are, are great in terms of helping you all. Let me see some of those new questions coming in. Um, um, um. Uh, how secure is the data? We do have PCI level one compliance across all of CVENT's products. It's our most important aspect of being a technology company is security. Um, so not only the fact that Paskey integrates directly into the hotel's reservation system, but the fact that we do have that PCI level one compliance, it's something CVENT invests very heavily into. Uh, and actually notable on that too, before I move forward, you can add certain terms and conditions that attendees can check off through the process. So if you have international travelers, which most of us do, you can add check boxes for GDPR consent and, and things of that nature as well. And know that since we are PCI level and compliant, you know, that, that security aspect is intact. Uh, another question is, will social tables be an option when using Passkey? Um, so I'm not quite sure what integration you, you would love, but please connect me with me if you have any ideas. Currently, social tables does not integrate with Passkey. It does integrate with our registration process, if that's something that you are interested in, in learning more about. Um, oftentimes people will use social tables for diagramming for events. For those of you who are not familiar with social tables, it's a diagramming and attendee management seating uh, process that can embed into C event registration so attendees can, you know, make selections like their meal preferences, dietary restrictions, and that can sync into social tables. So when you're kind of assigning seats or sharing that data with catering, everyone knows. There's no integration with the housing side right now. Um, maybe you're thinking like if they can select specific rooms at the hotel, um, but let me know. We don't have that right now, but we're open to ideas. What is the benefit to linking Passkey to registration? Um, 
There are several. And again, I tread lightly when pushing this because some folks love their current registration process, or maybe you're someone that knows exactly who's coming and you don't even have registration for the event. I would say the benefit if you do have a registration process of linking with CVENT registration and Passkey is the fact that all of the acknowledgement numbers and Passkey flow back into CVENT. So I keep talking about the cross-reference report, but it is so valuable understanding you know, who's registered, who's booked their room, and you can see all the way through, here's their registration confirmation number, here is their acknowledgement number. So that's one perk. Another perk is that the cohesiveness with the process and workflow, being able to register and then immediately book your room, that will increase the options of people actually booking within your block. We want to obviously increase that opportunity that people have to make it easy for the attendee with it being the same technology and integrating the way it does, it is cohesive. They're able to do everything at once. And from an attendee perspective, it's typically a huge win um, in terms of that integration. So I would say those are my top two answers there. Um, if a guest reaches out to the hotel directly and passkey is used, are the hotels aware the guest should work via passkey instead of directly with the hotel? And that's from Beatrice Wellman. That's a great question. And, and unfortunately, it's something Cvent doesn't control because we don't staff the front desk. We don't staff these folks at the hotel that are getting these phone calls. What that person on the other line at the hotel will know is that room block is being run through Passkey. So they will see that that room block is run through Passkey. Um, that doesn't necessarily mean that they will actually submit that room in Passkey. Um, but what you can do to counteract that, again, are those email notifications. You know, if you've noticed that it's not processed in Passkey that that person has booked their room, you can send an email and maybe you can put in that email, again, that email's custom, you can say, hey, if you've called the hotel directly, please click here to modify your reservation and you can have that link. So there are ways around it, but ultimately we, we don't control what the hotels do, unfortunately, on the phone. Um, but they, that person on the phone will have visibility. That's a great question, Beatrice. Um, okay. Does each attendee need to make their own reservation or can a person such as an admin book reservation for several attendees? Yes, they can book on behalf of several attendees. CVET does this. Um, we have admin assistants that will book on behalf of an entire department. Um, so we absolutely have that workflow. And then you can even assign, maybe I'm booking 10 rooms on behalf of my department. You can assign all 10 rooms to specific people. Um, so common use case and great question there. Um, from Brett Poe, we've had the issue arise when some may have reserved rooms before registering for the conference, which they reached capacity. Can Passkey make booking through the room block not an option unless they registered? That's probably the biggest value, Brett. Um, that's a great point. Yes, we can make Passkey only available to those that have a registration confirmation number. So that should mitigate any issues there. Good question. Okay, let me see. Is there a list of the built-in report templates in Passkey? Can I create my own like Steven can? Yes, you can create your own. There's a whole reports tab. And actually in customer, the community, the support community, we do have a tab specifically dedicated to reports. So that's where you can get insight into all the report options. And then in terms of customizing the report, you can bring in as many fields as you need to within Passkey reports. You can kind of drag and drop in terms of what fields you want uh, to get insight into on those reporting, on that reporting. Um, what are some common integration issues Passkey has had with other systems? So Passkey, um, just some insight too. So Passkey was actually acquired by Cvent six years ago. Um, so before being part of the Cvent family, Passkey did have one-way integrations with several other event registration technologies. 
Um, so we have actually a whole link to what technologies those are. Um, the issues that arise is the fact that we don't have that two-way integration with any other solutions other than student registration. So with a one-way integration, you're lacking that cross-reference report. So you don't have the ability to understand who's registered versus who has booked their room. And of course, you don't have the email campaigns from other registration systems if you don't have that integration. I will say with homegrown systems, it's not as big of an issue. You can still send email campaigns out of Passkey individually. So it's just, it's kind of up to you on what, what process you want to go through. Um, but Passkey can support all the email campaigns itself, but of course it's more valuable to have that cross-reference report in its event registration. Um, Some of these are pretty similar questions. So another question from Brett on if the registrant calls the hotel directly. We covered that. If our hotel has a passkey license, can it be linked with CVent registration where we do not have to own your own passkey license from Rebecca Olson? Yes, you would still have to purchase that integration. So that is still something I suggest that you work with your account manager on because it's something that needs to be actually configured in your account and then linked with that passkey booking link. But it, it can be done. Obviously, with using a hotel's license, you're limited. You know, you won't get access to everything I showed you today. So I just want to caution you there. Um, but you can integrate with registration. You just need to chat with your account manager. It's called the passkey integration uh, in terms of that you know line item in an agreement. Um, can we use Passkey for all hotels? Um, from Jaya, yes, yes, you can. It's compatible with any hotel worldwide. Can I link hotels Passkey to our registration, or do we need to have our own Passkey license? So we covered that. Oh. Great question, Jaya. So how does the roommate selection work within Passkey? So if you're someone that is doing roommates, um, we do have the way to compile that. And basically both people or multiple people can be on one line item in the reservation. And that's all done through the guest field. So it's something, you know, it, it doesn't specifically say roommate. It does say guest. But, you know, you can add that name in there. So, for example, I am bringing my spouse to see that connect. I would add him on my reservation to then be sent to the hotel. So that way both of us can check in and, and both of our names are on that single reservation within the hotel. Um, okay. From Jenny Ku, is Passkey GDR, GDPR compliant as well? Yes, absolutely. All of CVIT products are. So we, we do have information on, on our security measures on our website, but that is important to note. When the attendee is registering, does a new window open when it takes them to Passkey or is it one seamless experience in the platform? That's an anonymous question. Um, it refreshes. So it is a separate URL, obviously still a two-way integration. So the data still flows accordingly. Um, but it, it basically refreshes that confirmation page, syncs to Passkey, and then ultimately once they're complete with booking their room, it will route them back into that one landing page where it has their registration, confirmation information, and their housing on one screen. Um, so separate URL, but since it's synced, it ultimately comes to one page, one final confirmation page. Okay, the system manually instead. Okay, here's the question that's anonymous. The system doesn't sync well with the hotel if you make changes on passkey. Example, check-in dates. What is the problem with the hotel system or is something that needs to be updated in Cvent? So any and every modification made in Passkey is directed to the hotel. So I suggest if you have any issues with the hotel, I guess, processing that information, that's something that our team, we have a 
you know, dedicated team that works directly with the hotels on this solution so that this should not be an issue. So if that is, let us know. We have a support line and you can let us know. It just might be something that the hotelier might not be familiar with on their end of how to process changes. But oftentimes it is automated, so it should not be an issue. But again, let us know. We have a whole team dedicated to supporting this integration. Can we build a passkey platform for our event from Jaya? Absolutely. So I know I talked about the, the professional services option of building your own passkey or um, of having our team support building your own passkey page. You can absolutely build this on your own. We offer training. We offer video tutorials to do it on your own. The professional services option of our team building that for you is just a perk if you need more assistance. So it's it's either or a path. And again, when submitting that the details on your event, we can quote you for either options, more self-service versus the professional services option. Um, does the current process provide a link for the attendee at the end of, oh, I lost that question. Um, at the end, I think the question was, does it provide a link for someone at the end of registration? Yeah, so that visual that I had in my slide deck of the confirmation page, and it said book here to, to select your hotel, you can customize what that link says. I have a lot of planners that put next. I have a lot of planners that will put, you know, click here to book your hotel, and you can customize the size, font, color, et cetera. How would you handle booking rooms outside of the block for additional extension requests? Shoulder nights. This is something that we, we were back and forth on adding to this because it's not applicable for every event. But if you're someone that's hosting an event in a city that someone might want to extend their stay, we have waitlist functionality. So if you're not someone that actually wants to have those shoulder nights within your room block, but you still want to track if certain attendees want to come in early or stay late, we have the ability for them to select those nights. They are notified that they're on the wait list and you can set up you know, emails to yourself to say, hey, you have two people waitlisted for this one night. You would still have to go back to the hotel to check availability. Um, but at that point, you could potentially add those rooms into your contract with the hotel and open up the wait list and open those room availability up to those people. So yeah, waitlist functionality is huge just so you're not getting those frantic emails or calls from your attendees saying, I can't book early and I want to. The waitlist is there for that, that reason. Um, for the reports, and this is from Beatrice Wellman. Beatrice, um, for the reports, will these be available in the portal or is this separate and run off of the Paskey platform? Some reports are run just in Paskey. Some reports can be run in the portal. Um, so for example, that cross-reference report that I keep referring to, that can be run in the portal. So you can understand the data you know, from both Cvent Reg and then Paskey all in one place. So yes, there are several reports you can run out of the Cvent portal as opposed to just Paskey. Um, scrolling through, I think we've covered most of them. Feel free to keep them coming. I know you guys have had a lot of really great questions. Um, I think that's it, you guys. A lot, a lot of duplicate questions that we've addressed. I so appreciate your time. Thank you, everyone. I, you know, I hope this was valuable, really understanding an applicable use case with Aiden and using Passkey. Again, feel free to fill out that survey. We're here to help you either with a quick quote um, or just understand your experience from today. So thank you. Have a great day.